Starla with Expressions Vinyl, and today I'm going to show you how to set your how to program your cut settings in the Silhouette Studio. So let's go ahead and take a look at the default settings. So if you go into the program and you select the very top, it'll say commonly used um, products. It'll select vinyl. It will default to this setting: a one, a speed of a three, and a thickness of seven. So we've gone ahead. And we've cut out our blue reflective vinyl and then our 651 Oracal black. So we're going to see how they compare because this is a little bit thinner and this is a little bit thicker. So let's see how the 51, 651 does. It's not too bad. It's actually a pretty good cut for just regular. This will vary from machine to machine, machine to machine. So that's not bad though. But let's try our reflective. I got it a little bit. Um, it's not the best setting. So you can kind of force it, but you want a nice clean lift off of it. And you don't, it's a little bit messy to work with. And reflective can have, has a tendency to rip a little bit. So you want a good clean cut with reflective. Well, let's go ahead and try our custom settings. Okay, so back into your program, select your blade. Select the tool that you're using. If you have the Cameo 2, that won't matter. Cameo 3, you have to select your tool. So, since we don't want to use that default setting, we want to create our own setting that we can just refer to every time we need to cut reflective. This little plus and minus right here is how you can set those. So let's hit our plus, and we are going to name this EV Reflective. Okay, don't hit enter quite yet, because you want to adjust your settings. So we've got a blade of a two on our chart. And since we're using the auto blade, we want to change that. And our speed can vary. I'm going to do it a little bit faster just because that's a pretty simple shape. And our thickness is a 10. Okay. That cursor is still going. It's not been saved yet. So hit enter. Once that's blued, you are good to go. So now you can change back and forth between your other settings and it'll know it right away. So. Let's go ahead and cut it. Got it loaded. All of our settings are good. Okay, let's cut. Okay. Okay, let's unload it. Let's try it out. Get rid of our other ones. Oh, much easier. It's still lifted a little bit, but it is a much easier cut. So go ahead and play with your settings or go off of our cut chart. Um, we've done a lot of testing with it, so they're, they're pretty accurate. But like I said, that'll vary from machine to machine. So it'll look like this. Just go on the website and select machine settings and select your machine. Another good benefit to setting your custom settings is that once you've got all of the vinyl that you cut or all that we stock in your program, once you get cutting a lot of those, it also um, keeps track of if your blade's getting dull. So go ahead and set them in there and it'll kind of keep track of your blade settings. So if you liked this video, go ahead and thumbs us up. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or cool, cool video or subscribe to our page. Bye guys.